Circa video training. The Circa esophageal temperature monitoring system consists of three primary components. The Circa SCATH esophageal temperature probe, the Circa temperature monitor, and the Circa SCATH interconnect cable. Carefully remove the probe from the packaging. Hold the stylet close to the connector housing and allow the probe to hang vertically. Advance the stylet completely until the white end of the stylet reaches the connector housing. Apply a water-soluble lubricant to the outside of the probe and insert the S-cath immediately into the esophagus. The probe may be inserted either orally or nasally. Under fluoroscopic guidance, advance the probe into the distal esophagus until the distal tip is approximately 1 cm superior to the gastroesophageal junction. Once probe is properly placed, grasp connector housing of probe with one hand and with the other hand grasp the end of the stylet and remove completely. The probe will shorten as the stylet is removed. Do not reinsert or advance the stylet while probe is in the esophagus. Discard the stylet. Please note, do not attempt to reinsert the stylet into the s cath or attempt to override lockout feature as probe damage may occur. Under fluoroscopy, Slowly pull the probe back slightly to the proper position. Sensor number one, the most distal or inferior sensor, should be positioned near the coronary sinus catheter or at the lowest aspect of the left atrium. If probe end does not appear as an S shape in a straight AP view, grasp connector housing and rotate probe until S shape is visible. Grasp connector housing to reposition probe as required for desired placement. The probe may also be inserted nasally. Insert and position the probe in the same manner as with oral insertion. Do not reinsert stylet while probe is in the esophagus. Once the probe is properly positioned, connect the Circa interconnect cable to the Circa monitor. Then connect the probe to the cable. Secure the cable to prevent movement of the probe. You may also connect the 400 series connector to your own core body temperature monitoring system. Switch on the Circa monitor by pressing the white power button located on the back of the monitor in the upper right corner. The program may take up to two minutes to start. When the monitor is first switched on, the setup screen will be displayed within two minutes. Assure that appropriate temperatures are shown on all 12 sensors. From this screen, you may also set warning and alarm limits and adjust the volume, among other functions. The monitor is also shut down from this screen. To adjust the warning and alarm limits, use the plus and minus buttons to change the values. The high warning limit must always be lower than the high alarm limit. The low warning limit must always be higher than the low alarm limit. To adjust the volume of the warning and the alarm, press either the warning button or the alarm button. A pop-up slider will appear. Drag either the volume or the tone with your finger. When the setting is at the desired level, press Update. Please note. The warning volume may be set to zero and then it will be silent. The alarm volume must always be higher than the warning volume and cannot be set to zero. The Circa monitor has three different screens which may be navigated by touching the tabs at the top of the screen. The Circa monitor has two different screens to display the temperature monitoring data, the MaxMin graph screen and the channel chart screen. Press the channel chart tab to display the channel chart screen. The channel chart screen displays the temperature of all 12 temperature sensors in an easy to understand bar graph. The temperatures are displayed from 1 to 12. Sensor 1 is the most distal sensor which is closest to the stomach. Sensor 12 is the most proximal sensor which is closest to the mouth. The channel chart graph also displays the current warning and alarm settings by yellow, blue, or red lines on the graph. The sensor temperature display and the corresponding bars change colors as temperatures reach warning and alarm limits. The scale of the graph may be adjusted using the up or down arrows on the y-axis of the graph. The individual temperatures are displayed numerically along the left side of the screen. The maximum or the minimum is displayed in the large box above the graph. This box will display the hottest or the coldest temperature. The Max Min Display button allows you to switch the screen between maximum and minimum depending on the type of procedure being done. If the word maximum is displayed, the graph will display the high warning and alarm limits and the highest temperature will be displayed. This is used for heat-based procedures. Press the Max Min Display button to change the orientation of the graph for a procedure in which the temperature is expected to get colder.
the word minimum will be displayed and the coldest temperature will be displayed. The chart will display the low warning and alarms with a blue and red line. This is used for cold base procedures. The audio off button may be pressed to temporarily silence the alarm. The alarm will be silenced until the next time the temperature crosses a warning or alarm threshold. By pressing the Max Min Graph tab, the temperature data may be displayed in a different format. The Max Min Graph display displays only the highest, maximum, or the lowest, minimum temperature. The temperature is graphed over the last 60 seconds. This display indicates the temperature and the rate of change. The alarm settings are indicated in the same manner as the channel chart screen. Likewise, the alarm functions operate in the same manner as the channel chart screen. At the end of the procedure, disconnect the interconnect cable from the probe and slowly remove the circuit probe. The circuit monitor is now ready to be shut down. The power button on the back of the monitor should never be used to shut down the monitor. To properly shut down the circuit monitor, go to the Setup screen. From the Setup page, press Shut Down. This will close the circuit software and return the user to the monitor home screen. Touch the Start button and then press Shut Down. Touch OK to complete the shutdown process.